what is good youtube i'm biani here with another video in this video i did a glueless wig walkthrough like of how i install my glueless wigs this was not a tutorial um this is the hair i got it from b-i-n-f hair off of aliexpress i don't think i expressed that in the video though um I am going to be doing a wig review, so if you want to know how I feel about this wig, what I think, what I recommend, yada yada yada, it is coming, so stay tuned. And I do want to say that I know the wig was definitely looking a hot. Y'all should see, you will see how the wig was looking, but I wasn't concerned because I know how this wig usually looks when I, you know, do what I have to do. Without further ado, let's get into this video, and don't forget to get... <laughs> Don't forget to hit the subscribe button because I am trying to get to 100 subs. Okay, that's it. Okay, y'all, so my hair is braided back. Thank you, mother. Really appreciate it. So this one is a frontal. This is what she looking like. And here is the band. This is what you really need to make your wig um, glueless, boo-boo. So what you would do is have, um, this would come rolled up with a whole bunch. And you cut it, um, stretch it to, let me remember what's going on, it's been a while. I'm pretty sure you would want to stretch it to like right over here. I think, oh my god, watch a video beside, I don't know. <gasps> Let me stop. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna put it on for y'all and then let y'all know. Hold on. So you want to stretch it from like to right here. Wait, yeah, look what I said. <laughs> and you don't want it to like be loose. You want to actually have to like pull. You might have to use and waste a few pieces because it might be too long or too short. So just make sure you get it good because once you sew it, if you feel like it's a problem, it's kind of annoying because personally, if I feel like it's not tightening it tight enough right over here, I will take it off and redo it because I need it to do its purpose so anyways the first thing I'm gonna do now is apply the makeup so this wig the lace as you can see it's a little dark so last time I think I used like more of my true color powder foundation but this time I'm gonna use um L'Oreal True Match powder foundation in the color N7 and that's like the lighter one for me so I got, uh, ooh, I got a makeup brush, and we're just gonna, you know, it's hard for me to, like, hold up stuff high and show y'all. I, I swear, like, it really do be hard. <laughs> So this wig is definitely like dark fuzz. Oh my gosh. The lace is dark. <sighs> so next I'm about to put on a wig cap. I'm either going to use one of these two. I think I want to use this one because I've never used one like this. Not that it matters so I'm putting makeup on. But I want to just change it up. This, okay, this really is a wig cap. Alright. Now I know this is not my color or anything, but I'm gonna just leave it how it is and put the wig on just to see what it's giving. Uh, it's giving more realistic now, which is a lot better than before. See, I really just focused on the middle because like you know that's the part I really need to focus on and I'm only I'm not doing a ball cap because I just don't like I said I'm gonna take my wig off a lot and let my hair breathe so why would I do that? I know my hair is looking rough looking like Edward Scissorhands but you know but you know once you do see the hair well you probably seen it for the intro but like if y'all 
do like the hair i'm gonna be doing a video of me um basically doing a review on this hair so stay tuned so here is the front it's still pretty dark um so i'm back with this elf concealer thing and i'm just gonna uh apply this real quick just like to help lighten up my front sole because it is definitely a little dark so what i could do but i don't want to do just yet because why don't you do that all right because the wig is still fresh what i really could do is just go in and use my freeze glass and spray the middle and tie it down but it's giving me like i feel like it looks pretty good you know so i'm gonna just leave it alone yes when i go up close you can see the lace i'm not even gonna cap like you could dead see it but like even in person in the mirror if you look at me like right here it looks fine yeah we're gonna take some concealer and i'm gonna go and line my part all right so i got this at um marshall's on sale for you see three 350 and this is a tint shop black tint. you don't have this i feel like you can go in if you have a black eyeshadow i feel like that would do the trick because i feel like i did that before but um you need something thin like you don't want your part this thick or this thick so i have a crochet needle i feel like that is a perfect thickness so what i do is i just put it right in the middle of my part or try to put it in right in the middle and spray You see me. <laughs> Stuff I have that I just use is black, so keep that in mind. Um, and I'm just gonna there's some hairs with concealer, so I just added that. Oh, and it does go through the wig and like get to your um lace. I mean your wig cap. So keep that in mind. But anyways. Now we're gonna do some swoops. So I'm gonna get some. Uh, I don't know, is this a horrible tutorial? It's not a tutorial. I mean, it's just me showing you how I do, okay? So if you don't like it, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna start with the middle of the swoop first, just cause I feel like, you know, I really should. So anyways, um, my way, my mom, my swoops are cut like pretty short already not gonna lie i got some of that black stuff on my freaking forehead it's not cute yeah so my swoops are already cut so i'm just gonna cut them i guess a little bit more and put some uh this is <laughs> sorry <laughs> not used to this um this is apple g style and wrap mousse whatever um, I got this because I think Erica J said that it doesn't make your lace lift because it's alcohol free. So I'm pretty sure that's like why I bought that. Look how long I got. Oh my gosh. No way. So yeah, I just like to do a little middle swoop action and call it a day. And today I'm not gonna I usually would add got to be like um like the like this but i feel like it makes them rough which is everything that people say they don't want so i'm mean, trying to be a little different just like i did this is empty but boo boo don't throw it away when you think it's empty y'all see that and this is kind of going to do what i was i could have did earlier which is kind of secure the wig better but i'm gonna take this beautiful tie that i got from the new spice store and i love it because it's so long and like this is my favorite tie to sleep with when I wear my wigs because it won't give me a headache. Like, I can tie it at a good, like, tightness for it to be secure and, like, not give me a headache. I'm like other ones. But, like I was saying, so this right here, you hear that? Nothing. But y'all seeing how much I just sprayed? I swear my last bottle when I was, like, empty gave me at least 15 more uses. So... Don't do it away when you think it's empty. 
but nah um freeze mask really lasts such a long time so right now i'm just gonna brush through my hairs and when my wig is fresh i like to brush like especially like this is like an easy brush you know it's not really tugging or anything especially if it's curly i like to brush when my wig is tied down so i'm not like shifting i'm moving the waist of uh, the waist the lace because you know it is new and fresh and you don't want nothing to go wrong so here i am brushing out my curl oh yeah these are curls y'all can't tell me that this wig install wasn't fast stress-free and everything because it really really wasn't i feel like the most time consuming or maybe frustrating thing is like uh sewing the the band to the wig because when you're new at it too you, you really gotta like make sure you put position it properly you know so in here it is it's clear it's just water um i've been using conditioner and water for a very long time however I just want to um, use water because I'm okay. I got it. So, because <laughs> I want to try to keep my wig like as clean as possible. Conditioner, of course, isn't dirty, but like in a wig, I feel like it starts to make it stiffer, you know, cake up, stuff like that. So I'm just gonna stick with water right now. Use as least amount of products as I can in this hair. You see me, yes. Ten dollars at Sally's, <coughs> best investment. I ordered one from Amazon with the little small bag. My finger, it was working good at first, but then my fingers really were starting to give out on me, and I was just like, oh my gosh, because it was starting to get hard. But boo, -hoo. this right here, y'all see the cord in there? It goes all the way to the bottom, unlike some of these other ones. Won't say no names. But for ten dollars, um, yes, it's. Oh y'all! I just wanted to show y'all the hair wet because I don't know if when I come back how wet it's gonna be, but here it is. I wouldn't say it's drenched, but I wouldn't. I mean, I don't know if you call this damp or not because I feel like it might be a little bit more than damp, but that's what it's giving. We love looks so nice but yeah so this was just all i did was put water in no mousse no conditioner i'm just gonna do water for the first like few days already here i am y'all i'm so not used to the black on me because i did dye this hair black if you did not catch one said it earlier i still have some adjusting to do every time i put this wig on like i feel like it's so dark even when I do my eyebrows and they like look too dark, it looks so. I feel like it look, a little, little. I feel like it looks so weird on me, but maybe it doesn't. It's just me. Who knows? Um, but I did put some lashes on. Okay, <laughs> and lip gloss and some lip liner. I did actually comb my hair out with this to get a little fluffy. You know, I, I should like usually. I I can never wait until it's dry to comb it out. But like, look at the curl y'all see i love it i really love it i hope you guys like this video um oh 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 subscribe subscribe I'm trying to get to 100 subs you guys and hit the post notification bell because i'm really i'm trying i'm trying to keep posting for y'all because i do enjoy doing it so i just gotta you know i think it's editing for me but anyways subscribe and then like the video if you want you can comment who knows do what you want but please subscribe i would really really appreciate it stay tuned for the next video guys peace